The bow is a very elegant weapon. However, in the season of opulence, the drifter is offering one to guardians, and he's not a very elegant man. So don't be surprised when you pick up the hush and it's not prim, proper, and pretty. Instead, expect a hot and bothered mess in all the best ways. If you've always thought bows were cool but too slow to compete with auto rifles, hand cannons, and other standard guardian weapons, then look no farther. The Hush Pinnacle Bow is here to change your mind. Its pinnacle trait is called Archer's Gambit. Just like Archer's Tempo, on precision hits your draw time is reduced, but the catch is only hip-fired precision hits will activate Archer's Gambit. While it can be difficult to land a hip-fired precision hit, especially at longer ranges, the draw time reduction provided by Archer's Gambit is so significant that the extra work feels worthwhile. While the trait is active, the hush becomes an animal. It's the archery equivalent to putting the pedal to the metal in a convertible supercar. Its rate of fire feels comparable to an aggressive hand cannon, but it hits harder and has no damage falloff. Even better still, the Archer's Gambit buff lasts for 7 seconds, so once it's procced, you can aim the bow like normal if you need to. But honestly, looking down the sights of the hush doesn't feel right. The bow was designed to be a mid-range monster-killing machine. While it functions perfectly fine at longer ranges when aimed down sights, it just feels better when the traits are being used as intended and the weapon is fired as quickly as possible from the hit. Sadly, despite how good Archer's Gambit is, the hush isn't a masterpiece. The second trait is Opening Shot. This trait increases the accuracy and range of your first shot of combat. I understand the logic. Opening Shot makes your first shot of combat deadly accurate to make sure Archer's Gambit gets triggered. But consistency is more important for this weapon. Firing a one-off super accurate shot is nice, but I'd much rather have hipfire grip as a trait instead. It increases the accuracy of all hipfire shots. With that said, the freehand grip mod is almost as good as the hipfire grip trait, so you can compensate for the bow's poor choice, but this bad decision will always be a blemish on the weapon for me because it limits my choice. Overall, the hush is fantastic, and if you've been interested in bows in Destiny 2 but couldn't get over their low rate of fire, the hush has you covered. On the other hand, if you're already a bow enthusiast, there might be something about the hush that rubs you the wrong way. There's definitely something wrong with it beyond its perks and traits for me. The hush is too fast. I don't mean that it needs to be nerfed or toned down, but in achieving the pinnacle of high-speed archery, it's lost some of the things that make bows so enjoyable in Destiny 2. Knock an arrow, pull back on the string, take aim, and shoot. All of this happens in an instant with the hush, so fast that you don't get to revel in the experience. Now don't get me wrong, there is enjoyment to be had from mowing down enemies at a breakneck speed, but archery isn't just about speed. It's about precision, it's about patience, it's about perfection. And no bow exemplifies perfection better than Le Monarch. This exotic bow was made by the Black Armory and it demands nothing less than perfection to be used optimally. The difference between it and the Hush is the feeling you get when you're fighting. Like I mentioned earlier, the Hush is like driving a convertible supercar. It's wild, it's difficult to control, and it'll have your brain firing on more cylinders than it can handle. Meanwhile, Le Monarch puts you in a trance. Every perfectly drawn shot you fire will activate the weapon's exotic trait, poison arrows. Hits will cause enemies to take damage over time, and precision hits will create a gorgeous void explosion that applies that same dot effect to all surrounding enemies. In the end, both weapons have their purpose, and depending on my mood, I'll switch between the Hush, Le Monarch, and the other legendary and exotic bows. What that means is, despite the Hush being incredibly strong, it hasn't managed to overwrite the other bows in the game. I don't feel disadvantaged for using something different, and in my mind, that means the weapon is truly great. And there we go, that's gonna do it for the review of the Hush. This bow is absolutely fantastic, and like I said, if you enjoy bows in Destiny 2, this is definitely worth the grind. 
I personally don't like Gambit at all, but I suffered through it to get the bow and I don't feel like I wasted my time at all. So with that said, we are going to wrap up the video here, but if you'd like to hear more of my impressions about the bow, then you can check out my initial impressions video. And with that said, we're gonna wrap things up by saying if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to support the channel more than you already do just by watching, liking, subscribing, and of course commenting, you can head over to patreon.com slash iblueairjgr to become a patron. The name of the game is Destiny 2, the name of the channel is iblueairjgr. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.